Hello everyone, welcome to Invest Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly manage your money like the rich. If you're new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. Take a look at these 7 cost cutting strategies to ease your financial burden. The first thing you can do to save money is to keep track of what you spend. Find out where your money is going. This is the first step in cutting costs. Most likely, it will open your eyes to see how you spend your money if you keep track of it for 40 or 75 days. Who knew you bought so many books online and ate so many cheeseburgers? You might be surprised at how much you've spent on certain things. The usual way to keep track is to write down each expense as it comes up, but this gives you a good chance to see where changes need to be made in the future. Even though we live in the 21st century and technology can handle our writing, this Arduo's method frustrates many individuals who are attempting to save money. If you pay for all of your transactions using a debit or credit card, you will discover what you really need and what you perceive to be a luxury. Printing the statement and using a range of color highlighters or pens to highlight the different sorts of expenses is one technique to make things clearer. You may also include these expenses under Ooh. necessities and wants on the accounts connected to your debit cards. If you want to use cash, it is imperative that you save all your receipts since some banks will provide a graph or pie chart that categorizes your expenses and shows precisely where your money went. The next aim is to reduce housing costs. Probably one of your largest expenses is housing. Reducing housing expenses may seem like a nuclear option, but it is worth exploring, and downsizing may be a possibility for those earning less than $45,000 annually. This is more than the rule of thumb advised by financial experts for mortgage applications, which is 30%. Lenders favor borrowers who spend around 28% of their pre-tax income on housing, refinancing in order to get a cheaper interest rate and monthly mortgage payment. Eliminating private mortgage insurance is a wise starting point. PMI is required if you purchase a home with less than a 22% down payment. Once equity reaches 22%, it is removed. Even if you haven't paid down your mortgage by a significant amount, it is a good idea to research area house prices. If they've climbed, so has the value of your property. If the value of your home has risen to the point where you have 22% equity, you may request that your lender cancel your PMI, and they must comply. Rent out your whole property or a part of it as a short-term rental if the value of your home has improved to the point where you have 22% equity. The third step is to make a list of items to purchase before going shopping. Creating a shopping list is the first step in using any of the various strategies for saving money on groceries. If you follow this basic method, you may be able to avoid making impulsive food purchases and save money. As long as you adhere to the list, you may make it as basic or as complicated as you choose. There are also apps that may help you with creating lists and locating offers so be imaginative. Developing a plan for paying off your debts is the fourth step in the process. You will be able to fit more money into your monthly budget 
if you pay off your debts more quickly. Credit card debt accrues more interest and is more difficult to pay off than other types of debt, such as vehicle or mortgage payments. Therefore, paying off credit card debt should be one of your top priorities when it comes to reducing overall debt. Your budget should provide for credit card payments in excess of the minimum required amount. Keep in mind that increasing your monthly principal payment as a result of debt consolidation, especially via credit counseling, might help you pay off your mortgage or auto loan quicker. The video has reached its midpoint. If you like it, please like and subscribe to the channel. The fifth step is to prepare meals at home. If you plan your meals in advance on a weekly basis, you may find it simpler to decide what to eat throughout the week. Even if you believe yourself to be a poor chef, you should still have a plan and stick to it. If you don't have time to cook during the week, prepare something on the weekend that can be used for many meals throughout the week. If you have a chili or chicken casserole, all that is left to do is split it into individual containers and take it with you everywhere you go. Sixth, restrict your energy use. You must heat or cool your home and provide power for your lights and other appliances, but there are several ways to cut your energy cost. Approximately, 15% of the average family's budget is spent on electricity. But there are simple ways to save money. Do not reduce the temperature. Leave the computer on or run the dishwasher until it's full. Instead of using a dryer, clothes should be hung to dry. Examine your options to see if you can find anything cheaper. Other steps are almost as simple, but you will need to visit a hardware store to install a programmable thermostat and switch to energy-efficient light bulbs. Numerous energy firms connect their clients' account to educate them on money-saving strategies. Other methods of saving money require a one-time investment but will pay off in the long run. Invest in energy-saving equipment and replace your water heater. Changing your heating and cooling systems might help the environment and save you money. Major utility upgrades may be costly, but you may get additional information on the website of your state's government. Numerous businesses provide support to clients who want to upgrade to more energy-efficient heating systems. Examine your monthly subscriptions as a less cost-cutting measure. The great majority of individuals have a variety of monthly recurring costs, such as cable television or streaming services, the internet, mobile phones, magazines, weight loss programs, and other services. Once you have set it up, the money will be automatically deducted from your account on the first of every month. Now is the time to conduct a thorough investigation into the problem. Is there anything truly essential that I cannot live without? Is it really feasible to do daily activities without access? If you decide you no longer want to be a member of the group, you must go through all your emails and unsubscribe from any newsletters or regular advertising that the organization at the issues has given to you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, do give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.